Greetings, everyone. This is Chris Hoklatubi. I am a professor of religion, and I'm here to talk to you about daily responses. So my goal in this quick video is to frame and explain what we are going to do with these daily responses. And then I'm going to show you how to submit your daily response to our forums. So first off, I personally hate busy work. And you should know that most professors here at Cornell absolutely hate busy work. We are all college students, we are all high school students, and we have been bored in our lives. And frankly, the second thing that's less worse than assigning busy work and doing busy work is having to grade busy work. So we're not here to waste your time. The purpose of these daily responses is to help you work with and learn the material and to prepare you for class discussions. Now, one of the really depressing facts about college, lectures, um, most things you're gonna learn in your life is that your brain tends to forget a whole lot real fast. In fact, um, in the average hour lecture, you know, after a day or two, you're probably gonna remember about 10, 20% of what was said. After a month, you will probably only remember about one to three percent of what was actually said in that lecture, right? So that is uh, the, what you remember when you're just passively listening to something. So let's just imagine you spend a thousand dollars listening to an hour lecture, right? Uh, even a class, right? That we can this this compounds out to class. So you you've spent you know all this money in a class that you're mostly going to forget in a matter of three or four months. That's pretty depressing. Now, that's assuming that this is a class that you are only watching and listening to, right? The things that you are going to remember from your college experience are especially the things that you talk about, the things that you write about, and the things that you teach other people about, whether it's talking about the course with your roommate or going home for Thanksgiving and Christmas and telling your parents what you've learned, um, or, in class demonstrations or class presentations where you are talking about the material. These are the things that you are going to remember. And so we want to give you as many opportunities to do things in class and outside of class with these material that are going to uh, form durable learning, right? That you're going to remember it. So these daily responses, right? They are gonna help you to uh, uh, retrieve information from memory. Uh, you're gonna learn about how we remember what we know in our book, Make It Stick. You're gonna read this in a few weeks um, or matter of days. Um, but let me get, present some of these ideas to you ahead of time uh, so that they're familiar when you check out Make It Stick. But also, I really want to do a good job here of framing this daily response for you, that, that, that we actually have your best interests in mind. We're helping you, we want to help you learn. We don't want to waste your time. And so, again, one of the things that Make It Stick talks about, the science of learning, is that when we are made to do small practices of having to remember things, it creates connections in our neurons, it, uh, uh, it helps us to retrieve things faster, it helps our memory. So that's one thing that these daily responses are meant to do. Uh, second, elaboration, right? When you are presented with new material and you have to present it in your own words, you present, uh, uh, you, you present new meaning to it and you remember it better. And when you then have to take new information and connect it to your experiences or connect it to other ideas, whether in a text or in another class that you've taken, you are presenting a larger context, a greater context around this new information. That too helps you remember things. Uh, all of this, all of this is going to help your durable learning. And uh, another facet is we want to get you all in the practice of writing every day. So writing, can be difficult. Writing can be filled with anxiety and having to put your ideas out there. The practice of writing every day will help you to kind of get over some of these fears. All these are hope, right? And we'll make writing easier. So we are gonna do some small writing projects throughout this class. We're hoping that these daily reflections will help you get into daily habit of writing that will make writing easier. 
And uh, lastly, we really want you to come into each day's class with a little bit of confidence, knowing that you didn't just passively read the material and you didn't just highlight and underline stuff and think you know it, right? One of the things we're gonna talk about and make it stick is most of the ways in which we think we learn uh, and we think we are uh, uh, memorizing things and retaining information, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. We, we tend to forget things that we underline and highlighting, right? Uh, we're gonna talk about the illusion of knowing things. Uh, but one of the things that uh, helps us to learn, right, is uh, uh, when we've worked with things, like I've already said. Um, and so when you've worked with it and you've written something about it, my hope is that you will come into class or you'll come into your online discussion forums with some confidence knowing that you've already played around with this material and you're ready to talk about it and you're ready to go deeper and you're ready to make new connections. Uh, so again, you know, we want you to learn the material. We want you to have confidence going in and uh, uh, participating in class and we want to help you to get into the daily good habit of writing every single day. Okay, so that's my large framework again please, please just, just try this. All right. Um, and I think this is going to be helpful for all of us. Uh, uh, some last words on these daily responses. We are not grading them according to a scale of A, B, C, and D, right? They, you will get a credit or no credit, right? It, it's either that you've made the goal of 200, 300 words or you didn't, right? So, uh, and these are not meant to be taken to take a lot of your time, right? I had some students spend an hour or two hours on this. This should take about like 10 to 15 minutes max, right? If you are spending longer than 15 minutes on these daily responses, talk to us, right? We can help you think about how to make it faster, how to put your words out there, or, or just to not stress about it and just get it out there, all right? Okay, friends, let me share my screen with you and show you how to upload your daily response. All right, so here is the Moodle page, and you will see that there is a uh, blue underline that you can click. So you can click on this to get to the daily responses. You can click down here to get to the daily responses. It all takes you the same thing, even right here. Bam. So you might think, huh, maybe the way to do a daily response is to add a new question. Wrong, right? All you need to do is you click on that, and now you have to click on this little little guy right here, daily response one. All right, now we're into our thread. And uh, this might not seem intuitive. Rather than starting a new thread, right, what we want you to do is to hit reply, okay? So you might hit reply underneath the main question. You might be hitting reply uh, underneath the student. It doesn't matter. Um, the reason why we do this format, it is because it makes it super easy for us as professors to scroll through all the responses. And our goal as professors generally is to read these responses every single morning before class. Uh, these responses are due before class and are generally due about the midnight before class. Um, but this gives us time in the, in the morning to look through, see what you've done, and uh, even to take some of your responses and incorporate them into our classroom discussions. So I'm going to hit reply. So you can either write, you know, directly on this, or what I recommend is to open a Google document or open a Word document, like I've done right here, write directly on it, and then go here, copy, and, uh, uh, you know, here's my writing right here. This is about what 300 words looks like. If you're thinking about a 200 word response, right, this is about what a 200 word response. So, you know, a good two to three paragraphs is kind of what we're looking for. And if you have any doubt of how long your uh, daily reflection is, right, you can go to tools, you can do word count, and you can find out, oh, this is 308 words, done. Copy and paste and submit bam i'm done and also this forum has a really nifty tool right here that says hey you've done 308 words right so know that we know how many words you've done right so you know if you have tons of small paragraphs you think haha we're going to cheat the professor right it tells us right here how many words you've done anyways that's it
I hope you um, really learn something from these daily responses. I hope they're helpful for your discussions. And most importantly, I'm, I hope that these daily responses are helpful for you to process the material, to learn new things about the material, and to remember the material. All right, take care, everyone.